Welcome back to Living 808. Two local girls are doing something they love at the highest level possible, and their hard work is paying off. Maya and Ella Kotner are sisters and will be representing Hawaii at the Junior Olympic Women's National Gymnastics Championships in Cincinnati, Ohio, next week on Mother's Day, I believe. Now, they are level 10 gymnasts from Hawaiian Island Twisters. Hello, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for thank having you. us. Okay, first of all, congratulations. Uh, you both are state champions and also regional champions, yes, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, and I, I don't know what level 10 gymnasts mean. What, what does that mean? Who can tell me what that means? Level 10 is basically the highest level that you can achieve besides being an elite gymnast, which is where you do Olympics and stuff like that. Okay. But yeah, so the highest level, let's say that. Okay, and how long have you guys been doing gymnastics? Ella, why don't we start with um, you? For 11 years. For 11 years, yes. and you're 13. Yes. So you started when you were two. Yes. Wow. And how about you, Maya? Same amount. I started when I was six, though. Okay. And you are 17 now? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Tell me about your, your schooling. Um, you're homeschooled. Yes. Yes? yes? We okay. go, um, so it's like a private online school. It's the Potter's School. So it makes gymnastics really convenient for us getting more hours and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Because how many hours a day do you guys practice? Uh, sometimes eight. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, that's the whole day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and, and you've been practicing th these many hours for a lot of years, I guess, to get to where you are. It's a mm -hmm. lot of discipline. Um, tell us what it takes to be a gymnast at your level. I mean, diet, exercise, all of that. How, what is your typical day like? Well, we have to, um, we, do, we are on a diet. Usually we um, don't eat gluten mm -hmm. or um, Sometimes we stay away from meat, poultry, um, and fish, and uh, we do exercise. Well, we exercise every day. <laughs> and I mean, like, with having to do gymnastics and having to do things like we play classical piano and guitar, and we play worship songs for guitar, um, we also have a... Uh, you just have to time manage really well. And so we wake up at, like, 5 in the morning and do some responsibilities before we head to the gym. and. Your gymnastics. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. But I love to hear that you also have other hobbies too. You yes. know, I mean, obviously, gymnastics is a big part of your life, uh, but you have other interests, right? Right. Mm -hmm. um, okay, this is incredible to me. I've never met two young gymnasts <laughs> <laughs> like this. So I, have, I have tons of questions. Um, but is your ultimate goal then to, to be in the Olympics? Oh. <laughs> Ella, how about you? Well, it used to be, but it's a different avenue now. Mm -hmm. But like, um, we're we're taking the collegiate route. Okay, good, yes. terrific. You're 17, so I'm sure you're thinking of colleges soon. Yes, I will be attending the University of Missouri this fall. Terrific. Um, and you'll be doing gymnastics there, or what are your yes, what are your I plans? Yes, I will. I will be um, doing gymnastics on full ride scholarship. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, that pays off. As a mother, I would be like, oh my gosh. <laughs> That's every, every parent's dream, right, for their right. child to get a full ride scholarship. We're looking at some pictures here, some video. Um, this is, you both are just so amazing. Um, what has been kind of memorable moments for you when, when competing or just uh, practicing for gymnastics? Well, our most memorable moments have to be the moments prior to competition. And so a lot of the times when we uh, go to the mainland to compete, we actually take hakus, hakuleis from oh. home. And we wear them out when we march out and present. And it's, I think, just that in itself, representing Hawaii, maybe not a specific moment in itself, mm -hmm. but that idea that you know that you're representing Hawaii, that's, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. I think a lot of people who compete on a national national stage, entertainers, other athletes, you know, people are always looking to them because they expect kind of that warm aloha feeling and it sounds like that's what you guys are doing when you compete. Um, your lives, really, this has been your life for many years. You compete on the mainland four times a year, About, three, three, yes. four times a year. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, good luck to you. Your big competition is on, is it Sunday, uh, May 13th? And Saturday the And 12th. Saturday the 12th. So the 12th and the 13th. And uh, remind everybody where you're competing. What's the name of the competition? Well, the name is 2018 Women's Junior Olympic National Championships. Ella and I, my team, headed by Coach Joe Raff, okay. um, will be 
there. We'll yeah. be there. And all of us here in Hawaii will be sending you good thoughts and prayers to both of you. Um, but good luck. And please let us know how you how you did. Right? We're going to be looking Absolutely. for you. Thank you so much Thank for being you. here and Thank for sharing so your story with us. Um, obviously, two beautiful young ladies uh, making Hawaii proud. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Coming up on Living 808, want a yard that stays green 24-7 and never needs to be watered?